Rahul Chitala makes his debut on the OTT platform. What a sensitive, fine, understated fellow he presents. Gulmohar. It's enough to have Sharmila Tagore, Manoj Bajpai, and Amol Paleka in a cast. You're obviously tempted to go and see the movie because you know with these three names, you're guaranteed of some kind of sensitivity and a decent film, and that's exactly what Good Mohawk turns out to be. Not one of those top of the rack movies, not one of those brilliant movies. But what works is it's not one of those uh, underbelly, bad days, crime, etc. You know, you don't have that bitter taste which is so much has, which has so much become an integral part of our OTT platform narratives. Fortunately, you know bomb blasts here, you know people killing one another, there are no gunshots across, there are no shattering glass pieces. On the other hand, this is very, very, very elegant matri. Okay. Kusum, played by Sharmila Tagore who lives in the Batra household as the elder lady. Her son Arun Batra, played by Manoj Bajpai. His wife Indra Batra, played by Simran from the south. Then you have Arun's son Aditya Batra, played by Suraj Sharma. His wife Divya, played by Kaveri Seed. And his sister Amrita, played by Utsavija. They constitute the Batra household. Their uncle, of course, is Amon Paleka another of the Batra family. The lovely house, the family house is up for sale. And uh, while they all have to move out to the hotel as the packers and movers are coming in, Kusum decides that the last holy will be in the house and they will stay there for the last three days and celebrate holy. In short, Gul Mohan looks at the last three days, looks back and forward, back and forward, looks at the past, what happened with their lives, how subtly they are where they are, and about relationships. These relationships too are not very crude. They are very subtly laid out and they pan out very interestingly. For instance, Indra and uh, Arun, the the pair, if I can say that, uh, Manoj Bajpayee and Sun, have a lovely screen chemistry without having to do anything hard. They don't even smooch, perhaps, if I can remember, but there is something so nice about their communication with one another. Simran, the actor from South, who's done, who's been over the top when she does cinema in the South, is controlled. And what happens is that there are a few intrigues in the family, a few grey areas. And then you have Amol Palekar as the chacha in the family, who's the villain in the piece, as you make it out to be. And this is no villain who's going to have a rapist image, or a killer image, or a drug peddler. They're a normal upper middle class man who has his own schemes, his own dreams. He's so real, he's so natural and yet has to play a negative role, and that's what I'm going to tell you was Great guys. Watch Gul Mohan. Because it tells you a simple story about a partly dysfunctional family that is sort of losing its jointness and is becoming nuclear, is moving into areas hitherto the family not being used to. This is Suraj Barjatya from the other end of the Kalitiyosko. There are no great songs, there are no great dances, though the music in the film is very pleasant. And then, everybody in the film, apart from the elite family, there are all those servants played by Chandan Roy as Param, Gandhar Vadevan as Irfan Ali, Shanti Balakrishnan as Reshma, and Chetan Goswami as Jeep. They have the small side story of love, romance, a love triangle in the making, frustrations of the servants, how they try to fight it out. Amazingly, then said, well stated, not overstated. 
And then, now Tagore announces that after Holi, she's going away to Goa. Everyone is shocked that the 75-year-old lady is going to lead her life alone. In the meanwhile, we're also introduced to the fact that Amrita, Sharmila's granddaughter, has alternate, alternate sexual preferences. And how Amrita is, how Kusum deals with Amrita makes for interesting observation and why makes it even more interesting. Watch Gulmohar. Watch Gulmohar for, it's one of those few movies you can sit at home and watch with everyone at home without having to get embarrassed or smell. Also watch Gulmohar for Manoj Baju. Very steady performance from a person who sometimes you get a feeling is typecast as an angry man and someone who's got to be in the evil side of things or the police officer. Very steady, studied performance. Veteran like Amol Palekar, come on, this man can do any role at sleepwalking and that's exactly what he does with this role. Watch how an actor, if he understands a role, does not have to go on to other elements of cinema to prove that he is bad. Watch the movie for a more Palekar and understand how well he interprets a character which is part villain, part really human. Obviously, at some stage, the entire film belongs ungrudgingly to Sharmila Tebon. What grace! Amazing that an actress at 75, she counted to its age is so, so, so graceful, so controlled. Her emotions are top class, her style, words fail me. I've always been a Lata Kaurav fan, but Gul Mohan is a reiteration of her class. I would take my hats off for Rahul Chitla, Chitala for coming back to a certain kind of old times and seeing a story in a contemporary context. And his cast is picture perfect. Go for it. Watch Gulmohar. As I sign off, acknowledgements to Abhinav, Ritika, and Bhakti. Bye bye.